we're showing you how to make delicious breakfast burritos on a budget. I've got the perfect breakfast that is only $2 per serving, and all you have to do is a little bit of meal prep beforehand. I'm starting with this burrito size whole wheat tortilla. Now, you can use any kind of tortilla that you like as long as it's about this size. Uh, whole wheat is great, regular flour tortillas, spinach flavored, I've even seen rice gluten-free ones that are great. The only one you probably wouldn't want to use is corn. Uh, they usually don't come this large and they tend to fall apart. They're great for tacos though. So we're gonna start with this tortilla and I'm gonna just put a base of a little bit of shredded cheese. Now I'm using cheddar. You could use whatever you like and whatever you have on hand really. This shouldn't be the sort of thing that you have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff for. I have cheddar so that's what I'm using but you could use Swiss, Jack, Pepper Jack, whatever you've got. So next I have some eggs that have scrambled. I prefer scrambled eggs. If you have eggs cooked another way, if you have poached eggs, that might work. But I would stick with the scrambled for now. So now I'm gonna top this with a little bit of, I've got some black beans. You could use pinto beans. If you have some white navy beans, those would work, kidney beans. The black beans are pretty classic for a burrito, so I like the way those taste. And then, just to give it a little bit of spice, I've got some salsa. Now this is just store-bought salsa. You can use whatever you have on hand, even a few dashes of hot sauce, or even Asian chili sauce, just to give it a little bit of a kick. Now the key with breakfast burritos, or any burrito for that matter, is less is more. If you load this up with too much stuff, it's gonna fall apart and you're not gonna have a burrito that's nice and neat and easy to eat. So the key here, you fold in the ends, and then you just wanna be tucking in everything and keeping it really tight as you roll. So you get this nice, neat cylinder, looks like that. Now, what I've done here is I've got this paper towel and some foil. And I'm gonna lay my burrito right here in the middle and then sort of on a diagonal, wrap it up, almost exactly the same as how I did the burrito, tucking in the ends, rolling it up tightly. So now I've got a burrito wrapped in a paper towel burrito. And I'm gonna do the same thing here with the foil. And this is to keep all of those delicious flavors inside the tortilla, inside of the burrito, so that they're nice and delicious when it's time to eat. Now, I have a couple of choices. Now that my burritos have been made, I could put this in the oven to cook it through. I could take it out of the foil and put just the paper towel wrap burrito into the microwave about a minute, minute and a half until it's cooked all the way through and the cheese is nice and melty. Or, even better, I could take these burritos and freeze them, and then in the morning when I'm rushing out the door, all I do is take one burrito out of its foil and I place the paper towel wrapped burrito into the microwave for one and a half to two minutes just until it's heated through, the cheese is nice and melty, and then I can actually eat it holding the paper towel on my way out the door as I rush to work. It's that easy. Share this with your friends using the hashtag OwnShow. We're always looking for ways to live our best lives, especially on a daily basis. With me today is dietitian and health fitness specialist, Rebecca Scritchfield, and we're discussing ways to sneak good for you habits into your daily routine. 